This one involves a little toy piano. So you can sit here on the sofa. shattered bottle on the floor. And a little girl sitting on the sofa. I'm on the phone! Yeah. I'm coming back early. This isn't working out. Mom! Not now, honey. <laughs> Mommy's on the phone. Put your damn drink down and look after her! <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Shush! Go show Hi. Daddy! Who's this who's whole trip was a bad idea. He's no better here. Worse, if anything. I can't put up with it anymore. I won! Mom! I won! All right! In a minute. Give me a second, Diane. Okay, now what we have to do here is that we have to go to the little piano. And we're gonna see these little images of the birds we just heard. And we're gonna repeat what we heard. Blocking the doors faded away. I know. That's the problem, Diane. Uh, look! Was that your glass? <laughs> well, what was she doing? Oh my god! Is that blood? And something happened and the little girl got hurt. Now we get to run again. There's like weird things in the trees now. You can kind of get glimpses. Get the fuck off. Quickly, this game turns you into Johnny Gat. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's try this again. We're gonna put a little less emphasis on looking around at what's here, and we're just gonna run straight through.
turning the flashlight off. <laughs> oh, and there's a nice little cryptic piece of Latin, Latin there. I think. Yes, Harry, that is Latin. Good boy. You see the blood smeared hand is there on that door as well. See the fence? And this creepy little bridge. A little clearance. <laughs> Check must be, you know, this height <laughs> in order to fit through it. And the little signpost up ahead says Bryant's Overlook. Okay, there's this little red car here. And we're gonna open this trunk. And we're gonna pop out another memento. This one is a butterfly. Xerxes blue. That's a butterfly. And this is the Bryant Overlook viewpoint. No camping or overnight parking. Somebody's in trouble. And you can see, it's a little hard to tell because the snow's so white, but there's some grainy interference and we're just gonna take a photograph of that and get up real close. And we see somebody sitting in the passenger seat with their hand in their face their face in their hands. Stop it! Please! Or I'll tell my dad! Your dad? Your dad isn't here right now. Come on! You've been leading me on all night! No! Let's see if we can get a little closer look of <clears throat> at the person sitting there, maybe. Yeah. See her sitting there. And around now, you, you kind of begin to get an idea of who, who it is that's sitting there. Head over here to this little magical rock and we're gonna read what it says. Bryant Overlook on February 13, 1730, Daniel R. Bryant and a group of 34 pioneers crossed Lake Toluca to arrive in Silent Hill. During the great winter of 1729, the group had almost lost over 80 of its members, most of them children. Arriving in the area, the pioneers set up camp here where the elevated position gave them uh, safety. This river, one of the many that feed into Lake Toluca, was a source of water and food for the settlers. Years later, when he died of influenza, this monument was put here, blah, 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 blah. It's really nothing important. I can't make a connection between what it says on that stone versus what it said on like the little grave that James found in Silent Hill 2. I, I think they're supposed to be like around the same kind of thing, but it's not close enough of a connection for me to think that it's the same. Once again, we have a little map on the wall, a little tiny path outlined on it. Silent Hill walks. Um, some books, some travel guides. Interesting thing about butterflies up on the wall. You gotta remember that butterflies was something that was collected by Alessa in the first Silent Hill. She had her little book thing. It's a theme too because bugs showed up or butterflies actually showed up. Maria had a butterfly tattoo in Silent Hill 2 and in Silent Hill Homecoming of course Alex's little brother he had a collection of bugs as well. So Lots of bugs. Okay, pretty soon we're going to be getting a phone call from Sybil. Uh, remember, we ignored her call. There she is. We ignored her call because Officer, she was just going to I've been trying to get through to you. Anyway. You had your phone turned off? Away, no, I just... Uh, I guess the reception was out. Now. Mr. Mason, you okay? Yes, I know where I am. I'm at the high school. Midwich High? In weather like this, the gym is sometimes used as an emergency shelter. I want you to go there. Emergency shelter? Well, maybe Cheryl was taken there. Yes, go to the gym. Wait there for me. I'm going. But if she's not there, I won't wait. I just can't. 